In this morning's Health Watch, Fiber Facts. The latest research confirms that adding fiber to your diet can lower the risk of getting colorectal cancer. But the importance here is really the type of fiber. Maybe. How much a difference could it make? Here to tell us is Early Show contributor Dr. Holly Phillips. Good morning. Always nice to see you. Great to be here, Eric. So, so colorectal cancer is actually the third most commonly diagnosed cancer in the United States. There's this new research out. How much of a difference does fiber actually make in the fight against cancer? You know, fiber can make a huge, huge difference. This was an analysis of 25 different studies. And the researchers concluded, after looking at them closely, that for every 10 grams of additional dietary fiber we take in, the risk of colorectal cancer drops by 10%. Now, there was a catch. The fiber had to be in the form of whole grains and cereal. Fiber from vegetables and fruits didn't count in the same way. Even though it's nutritious, it just wasn't linked with that lowering the colorectal cancer risk. Everything we have here qualifies. Are we? This is this is a, this yes. is a nice, this is a nice collection of greens it is. we have it's here lovely. this morning. It is actually. Um, so it, it, we should mention also uh, we, we eat fiber not just to prevent cancer, by the way. Sure, sure. There are many many other benefits. Probably the most proven is weight loss. Uh, even though a lot of us are carb adverse these days, uh, it's really a good yeah. thing in terms of weight loss. It fills you up more quickly and you eat less. It also lowers your cholesterol and controls your blood sugar, both of which will lower your risk for heart disease. So there are many, many reasons to increase our fiber intake. So many reasons to increase it. Uh, one of the other reasons is because we're hearing that we actually aren't getting enough. So to no. get all these benefits, how much do we need? How much should we be eating every day? Well, right now, the average adult only gets 15 grams a day. Women need to aim for more like 25 grams of fiber a day. That's about what you would get in one of these bowls of cereal. Uh, men need more these than These are high-fiber cereals. Yeah, though. these this are high-fiber. And, and whole grains is one, one of the first ingredients on the on the list. So that's one of the things you're looking for. Men need more like 38 grams, so that would be about a bowl and a half of this. So I should okay. just eat this loaf as soon as we're yeah, that loaf. Yeah. Again, whole grain bread is a good source. Pastas, whole grain whole pastas, grain pastas as well. Also lentils, you know, beans like lentils, and fruits that still have the skin on can help. Okay. We switched to whole grain pasta a couple of years ago, and it was it was it was odd at first, but then we've totally gotten used to it. And I actually prefer it now. Yeah. I do. It's good stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, fiber supplements. If you if you if you don't want to do that potentially, is fiber supplements a good uh, idea? Yeah. Well, as a general rule of thumb, you want to get all of your nutrients from food as opposed to supplements. If you take supplements, you might lose some of the benefits, such as antioxidant benefits and other things that can fight cancer. But the supplements are safe. So talk to your doctor if you don't think you can eat this amount of fiber in a day. Jeff is going to house that loaf of bread as soon as we, as soon as we go to commercials. <laughs> Don't, so don't worry. Either. He's all set. Looks good. Holly, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Holly.